Hello everyone, welcome back to another update video. Today we've got a few little Halloween updates, we've got some gate transition updates, and you can now jump from a trot. So let's get started with the Witch's Gambit. The Witch's Gambit is like Galloper's Gambit, but um, a witch. So it'll take about 15 to 24 minutes to spawn. Um, I don't know if this is who I speak to, but I thought, you know, we might as well start with this because we've got 15 to 24 minutes to wait. What is this place? How did I get here? Is this the right spot? Oh yes, okay. You, have you heard of the Phantom Witch roaming around Jorvik? I was riding around Golden Leaf Forest when I came face to face with her. Suddenly I was being surrounded by darkness and I recognized a shadow looming over me. I was looking over my shoulder, trying to run as fast as I could, but the witch's magic, witch's magic surrounded me. When I awoke, I found myself here in this keep, her ghastly figure retreating into the skies. As she flew away, a letter fluttered to the ground. Did she drop it unintentionally or was she luring me into going after her? You can have the letter if you want, but beware, the witch will surely seek to find out what is rightfully her. And what you have to do is you have to give three soul shards. But if you succeed in the witch's gambit, which is basically like the witch will like chase you and you just have to run away. If you succeed in that, then you get six back. So you're like doubling your soul shards. Um, yeah, we've also got trick or treating is back. Um, this has been in previous years, so I'm not going to read through all of these. All right, and I think we have to wear a mask today. All right, so let's go put a mask on. Let's go ahead and maybe match her mask. I don't think this one is exactly the same, but it's pretty close. Um, then do we have to go over so- What? <laughs> what happened? My bad. Oh, okay, wait, the sparkle's over here. Oh my gosh, blowing like coldness. What's this? As you ride in front of the ghouls, they're cheering- What's- Uh, trick or treat. Awesome, we'll have to go to your vic though for actual- Okay, <laughs> I'm so confused. I don't remember how to do this. It's okay. I definitely remember something being back here. I think they have to like um, accept my mask as good enough. Yeah. Sparkles. Got a bit of a hero vibe. Oh, today my outfit is a beautiful lily pad. You should wear a frog mask if you want to match. Oh, okay. Let's go buy a frog mask because I don't think I own one. Although I might actually. I don't want to go find it. Oh, hopefully it's in my green section. Did I put masks in here or do I have a full section for masks? Guys, I don't know where my masks are because I sold like all of them. Oh, okay. Do I have a frog? I don't think I got a frog, you guys. I got a pig close enough. Am I dumb or is there not a frog here? Oh, and the, the witch's gambit doesn't start until we leave. So I'm basically just wasting time right now. Okay, I did see a pumpkin mask before, so... Okay, there we go. We found it. It clips through my hat, but it's fine. We ignore that. Okay, I'm gonna click the sparkles. Let's see. You look great. Silverglade Village. Okay, let's go to Silverglade Village, and we're also gonna check out uh, the special transitions and things like that. I can't remember. I'm hoping they're going into... Oh, no. <laughs> okay, I don't know if it resets the timer if I go back into Galloper's Keep or into my home stable let's um go ahead and try it's gonna be really annoying having hair on the back of my horse like i love it and all but like let's try a jump from a trot now when i first saw this honestly i think the gate transitions for the special moves are pretty cool but i wasn't sure how i felt about the jump from a trot um i i rarely am in the occasion where i need to jump from a trot but honestly like it's not something that bothers me that i'm like star stable this is horrible like i use it I'll use it. I won't use it. It is nothing. It doesn't matter to me. I just feel like the jumps in Star Stable is always a bit high. Like, because you can jump anywhere. When you're jumping over any jumps, if it's a really low jump, it always looks out of place. But yeah, to me, I'm just like... I don't know. I just don't think of, like, jumping high from a trot. Like, I get this, like, little trot jumps and trot poles and things like that but yeah it's cool i guess if you get into a pickle because usually you have to try and like quickly go up to a canter when you like accidentally crash in one of the double jumps so that'll be useful i don't know if i'm making any sense by the way you guys i've had like it's been a day <laughs> it's been a couple few days but i do want to get on a horse which has a special move preferably one that i've trained maybe we'll just go a max level horse just so i know i can do all the special stuff maybe like i don't know they used a lipizzana in the we'll grab out a lipizzana but i want to do one like the icelandic has the told i want to see if that's a smoother transition that's something i'm really interested in yeah let's go red i haven't ridden red in ages because he's level 15. oh awesome i'm just gonna leave the ghost there do you think that's a problem all right now the lip is up. Uh, we'll leave. We'll leave for this. 
I don't think I'm breaking anything, but I potentially am. I just got a Twitter notification or an X notification saying that Star Stables encountered a pesky bug that's blocking jumps and the use of special movement from Trot on mobile, both Android and iOS. Okay, that does not apply to me. So there's the Lipizzanas have this special move. Um, wait, maybe it wasn't a Lipizzana. I don't remember now. Do they have a special? Oh yeah, they do. They have this one here. Oh yeah, that's pretty smooth. Oh. Whoa. Yeah, that's quite nice. I feel like that's different. I was expecting also a smooth gate between these ones, but I guess that's kind of tricky to do. I mean, maybe it's a bit better, but you can't do that move from like a walk or anything. Oops. <laughs> Obviously, because if you try to do a special move like that at a trot, now you're just gonna jump. So, yeah. <laughs> I wonder if this has any animation implications. Like, do they have to make a new animation for the jump from trot? I don't really know. Or is it just a slow down? Like, you know how the canter is like a slow down version of the fast jump? So sometimes the canter looks better or less glitchy. Okay, well, I guess I don't need to try out. We'll try out the toll just for funsies. Oh my gosh, the ghost is gone from the back of my walls. I glitched the game. I should have started a timer, you guys. We'll start a timer when I leave the next one because other we'll probably be out of the stable for like two minutes in total. I have no idea if it counts when you're in the stable. Okay, let's go to a tolt and then we're going to go to a trot and then a tolt. And then you can really quickly go to a canter. Kind of. Not really. Okay, I, so I forgot to unclick shift. I was still holding shift. Up. Now I'm trotting. And if I go up again, I go into a tolt. I thought you could only go from a special move. Oh no, it's from walk or a trot. I'm like, I feel like a star stable noob sometimes. Sometimes I feel like an internet noob. Like the generations of the internet are so different, in my opinion. Like people are saying things that I don't understand anymore. <laughs> let's uh, let's go trick or treat and wait for the witch's gambit to try and attack us. Hopefully, hopefully I win. Let's also put a timer on my phone. Delete, I meant a stopwatch. Yeah, a stopwatch is what I want. And let's just go spend some time trick or treating. I did just turn it to day- I did not come to Silverglade Manor. Oh my gosh. What was I thinking? I just turned it to daytime, but I feel like trick-or-treating is more like atmospheric at nighttime. All right, I'm finally here. Let's go. We've also got a tornado. I have not done a single tornado yet. Here you go, Daxton. Oh. 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 There we go. <laughs> hey, nice costumes. Maybe you have a future as a tailor. Are you getting a lot of candy? Candy. See, in Australia, we'd say lollies. I saw um, people talking about trick-or-treating the other day on TikTok and one of the things that were like the most embarrassing thing is when you ask trick-or-treat and the person says trick and I feel so bad because my dad is that person. My dad will say trick. But you see, I know what it's like in other countries, but in Australia, at least what my family have done around our neighborhood is if you turn off your veranda light or your porch light, I don't know if there's different <laughs> names, but like the front door lights, if you turn those off, it means don't trick or treat here but people still came up to our house anyways oh sharks no one is shopping right now okay treats today but promise to come back for shopping soon be safe out there so yeah i don't know what it's like in other countries whether you have that like turn off the light and people like oh supposedly like it kind of means that you don't do trick or treating but yeah we also just at that time we never had lollies in the house like even if we wanted even if like i wanted to give people lollies like we we didn't have any why is the hand thing so hot i'm just gonna click e clicking e is just better sometimes hello hello are you kids for the volunteer jump haha <laughs> just kidding i tricked you oh my gosh councilman you're so funny hi cassandra so you think your horse needs super treatment to be at its best again oh <laughs> the e button did not work that time the e bu button backfired on me here's some treats for the three of you cassandra pixel place and your friend there in the back Oh, why is it raining? Oh, oh, it's the witch's gambit. It's the witch's gambit. Wait, how long has it been? It's been three minutes, but it probably took longer. Like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. Ah! No, I did not. No, I did not. No, I did not. No. Oh my gosh. Um, It probably counted the time that I was in my home stable. So we probably were out for like, I feel like that was even less than 14 minutes. Well, I crashed, so I wanted to see how cool it looked behind me, but that backfired on me. I mean, it looked cool for like the five seconds that I was watching until I crashed. If I had the time, I'd want to try doing both the Witch's Gambit and Galloper Thompson's Gambit. Because although I don't know what the chances are, whether there is a higher chance of it happening, because obviously I think Galloper Thompson is also, he'll just appear at a random time between 14 um, to 
24 minutes or whatever it was 15 to 24 minutes so there's still like that small little percentage that you get both the witch's gambit and galloper's gambit at the same time which obviously might be a bit harder unless they follow the same tracking pattern. I'm not sure, but Star Steeple does mention it in the news page. But I don't really feel like riding around for 14 minutes because I have no idea what I would do. <laughs> but let's uh, trick or treat with Steve, my guy. Hello, Cassandra. It's good to see you having fun. And I see you have a new friend there. Very nice. Enjoy the treats, but don't get tummy ache. Are they like talking about my new pumpkin pet? Squash pet? I don't know what, what it's called. Do I go back to the place of the things? Of the, what's it called? Galloper's Keep? What do I get from this? I can't remember. Probably like soul shards or autumn tokens. Thanks for today. Come back tomorrow for more fun. And we got two autumn tokens, but also horse XP. Which is very nice. Yeah. Well, I think that's the end of this video. There might be a few other little things here and there for the update, but nothing that I feel like can make it into this video. It's stuff that I've already covered in previous Halloween years. I think even like the quests are back or something. I think I read on the next up in your Vic page. But I've already done all of the new quests or the Halloween quests in the previous years. I think we're getting new Halloween quests next week to finish off the story, which is cool i guess um honestly i was kind of disappointed by the halloween quest last year they were super short it didn't really feel like we got anywhere maybe i'm lying to myself though maybe there was something more interesting i can't remember at this point let me know what you guys think of the new jumping from trot and things like that kind of system honestly i think it's pretty cool it makes the experience a little bit smoother always a nice thing on the screen right now you can watch the video where i bought the halloween <laughs> Oh my gosh. Halloween horses that we bought last week. Or you can watch me buying a horse that Discord shows for me. I love you all so much and I will see you all later.